All right, in this tutorial, you learn how easy it is to transform static slides into interactive quizzes using Storyline's Convert to Freeform feature. Okay, let's take a look at the example we're going to build. So in this example, we want to select the food items that should go into the refrigerator. So it's essentially a multiple select quiz. And we should probably put the sundae in there, avocados definitely, and the grapes. Go ahead and click Submit, and we get our feedback. So let's take a look at what the starting slide looks like. All right, so if you're following along, we're on the practice slide for the Convert to Freeform activity. And if you take a look at the slide, you can see that it's just a series of graphics, right? There's just some uh, shelves here, some food items, some text for the title. Uh, if you look down here in the base layer, you can see that it's just a single layer. So it's really just a slide like any other slide with some content on it. And what we want to do is convert this to a multiple select activity where the learner has to choose multiple items that should go into the refrigerator and then receive feedback on whether those were the correct items or not. So we can do that quickly using Storyline's Convert to Freeform. So we go up to Insert and choose Convert to Freeform Slide. Now in a previous example we worked with the Convert to Freeform drag and drop. In this example we'll work with the Pick Mini. Pick Mini is basically a multiple select where you're able to choose multiple items on the slide. Go ahead and click OK. And just like with the drag and drop freeform we did earlier, you're taken initially to this form-based view. Now this form is slightly different because it's a different type of activity, but the process is essentially the same. You choose your choices. Now even your incorrect choices you want to add because those will be uh, valid distractors. So I think I have one more for the Sunday. Okay, so we have six items total. We just choose which items we want to go into the fridge. So I've chosen the three, the grapes, the avocados, and the Sunday. And as I choose each of these, right, you can see them highlight off to the side, right? So if I'm on the grapes, you can see the little red box on the outline over here. Just helps you identify uh, the object that you're picking. Still no excuse for uh, naming the objects, but uh, it does help you quickly identify or validate the item that you chose as the one you wanted. Okay, so once we've chosen those items or select them as the correct choices, let's just jump back over to slide view for a moment. Notice anything different? You shouldn't because it looks exactly the same, right? Nothing changes here. We're still in control of how the slide design looks. We can move things around, but this is already now a interactive slide. And we can see the one change down here in the slide layers where we now have a correct and incorrect layer for feedback. And of course we could also customize these as well. I'm going to jump back to the base layer. And let's go ahead and just preview our quiz. So preview the slide. Alright, so here's our choices. You can see that as I make a choice, each one of these items now has a selected state. It's a slight glow, and that's just a default color glow that Storyline adds when you've converted them to a freeform quiz. So there's a, a slight outline on each of these items. Go ahead and click Submit, and there's my feedback. All right, so if we wanted to customize the uh, selected state for each of our items, we could easily do that. So in the States panel, you can see that there are a state, a selected state's automatically been created for us, and we just need to modify what that glow looks like. So if I click Edit States, I can select the selected state and let me just zoom in a little bit on it. Right, so you can see that little outer glow and that's basically being applied by, under format, a picture effect and glow. So if you want to change that to something a little bit higher contrast, you could do that. If you wanted to maybe recolor the image or something, you could also uh, change that over there as well. Or you could replace it with your own image if you wanted to, um, you know, customize it that way. Another item, I, a way you might customize it would just be to add maybe a checkbox, right, to show that it's been selected, right? You could put that on top of it. So you have a lot of ways to customize how this looks. I'm just going to go with this little higher contrast orange outline, and then I'll apply that to the other items. So click Done Editing States, and I'll just zoom out a little bit here. So rather than having to go into each item and then modifying that color, I can quickly use the Format Painter to take the style from this pie graphic and then apply it to the other items. So I can do that by going up to Home and selecting the Format Painter and then just clicking on 
a different item. And you see how that glow now updates. Now, if I want to work even faster, I could double click the format painter to make it persistent. And now I can go through and click each item. And you notice how the format painter remains available. And one more. And I can just click Escape to deselect that. So as you can see, the Convert to Freeform is really simple and a quick way to convert your static content into interactive knowledge checks.